Oh, welcome back. Welcome back to our Children in Need appeal. Extraordinary place, this. Perhaps I should bring you up to date on all that's been happening since you last left us at 20 past seven. Hello, Terry. Very nice to see you. Great heavens, it's the Doctor. Indeed. I've only just seen you. Yes, I've missed it. And the four others. That's right. Yes. How'd you get on, all five of you? Oh, very well, very well. No, it was a great experience. No clash of Time Lord egos or anything? No, no, not at all, not at all. Of course, we all thought we were the best, you know. Of course. Apart from that, there was no problem No at all. comments, I noticed, about your ridiculous outfit. That. No, 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 no. It's not, is it that ridiculous? No, in no. fact, you're not with us, are you, being a Time Lord? No, no, Lord. at this very moment, I'm... Uh, up in a jumbo jet somewhere on my way to Chicago. There you go now. That's right. What are you going to Chicago for? Oh, just two days for a Doctor Who convention. It's a jet setting life, you know. <sighs> Doctor Who. We just sit on panels and they uh, the fans ask us questions and Why do you need a why do you need a jet? Couldn't you go on the TARDIS? Well, the trouble with uh, uh, the TARDIS is it doesn't always get you there in the right time zone. You know, one's liable to uh, be arrive before Columbus landed. <laughs> exactly. <things like that. laughs> yeah. yes. So you've got obviously Doctor Who fans in America as well. Oh yes, thousands and thousands are expected this weekend. It's a really a rather uh, large sort of uh, organisation they have over there. Now, Star Trek fans are called Trekkies. What are, mm. what are Doctor Who fans called? I believe they're called Whovians. 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 Hoovers. But Hoovers, perhaps. No, very good. Or Hoorays. <laughs> now, what are you going to donate for our children in need appeal before you go? Well, in fact, now that you've gone. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Well, of course, uh, we got a friend saying to uh, carry money as Same. such. Yes. You could have done with the money, you know. Uh, indeed. But uh, what more can I give you, really, than the coat off my back. But no man nor Time Lord can give more, Doctor Who. <laughs> Thank you, Peter. That is smashing. What about the only... Where's the stick of ah, celery? Celery, yes. Yeah. Well, the thing is, Terry, that uh, being special Gallifreyan celery and having very special properties, I thought I'd best keep it in the TARDIS in case you felt a bit light-fingered, you know. Well, we'll take the coat. <clears throat> right. And uh, excuse you the vegetable. It's very, very nice to see you. And you too, Doctor. Bye-bye now. Safe journey. Thank you. Oh, you've gone. And so, by cracky, he has. Well, even Doctor Who couldn't have foreseen the amount of money which has been pouring into our BBC studios in the South for tonight's appeal. We're already into five figures.